welcome you all back to my youtube channel today today i'm going to be making this top with the evil skirt for this particular dress there's no need for you to add any lining in the dress because it will kind of look boggy but this bride that you are looking at i'll just be using it to turn in the rough edges for my flare out the one around the sleeve so let's begin this i cut the front part of my blouse using a princess that if you are yet to know how to cut it i'll be dropping the link down below the video just go and watch it and then let's dive in into today's video that's the front part for the blouse so for the back part i will mark my starting point which is 26 inches for the total blouse length then for the back for the zipper side i'm going to be using 1.5 inch and i'm going to be marking that out and joining the lines together guys if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do so just press that subscribe button to get more of my videos after that i move to my back measurement 16 divided by 6 and i come down to my chest measurements but this is my bust point my waistline then the hip i'm going to be placing the measurements on it like so with 1.5 inch seam allowance for my waist as well i did the same thing my waist divided by 4 plus 1.4.5 seam allowance to my hip as well i did the same thing if divided by 4 plus 1.5 seam allowance and i'm going to be joining the lines together like so for my arm side i just cuff it like this if you have an arm or curve ruler you can use it then for the back i come down by two inches then for the for the depth i use 3.5 then i'm going to cut it and that's it then let's cut the back side for the dart i will place 4.5 exactly on my zipper side then i'm going to be really that 4.5 accordingly to my bust point to my waist and then to my hip remember my bust point is 10.5 my waist is 16 inches then my hip line is 23 so that is where i'm going to be joining the lines together and then i'm going to be placing my darts exactly on that side i did the same thing at the other side as well 10.5 16 and 23 then from the zipper side i'm going to be coming in by 4.5 that is my nipple to nipple measurement then moving forward this is where i'm going to be cutting the flay around the sleeve for this tutorial for this particular aspect i would like you to pay more attention to it i'll be using uh, a shape method to cut the flare because it's not really a full flare so i'll be using a cone method or a a shape method from that spot from that cone side i first of all measure the total length i have for my fabric in order to get the uh round sleeve remember our ammo can be 10 can be 9 but mine i'll be using 10 inches because it's an elderly person not to like that so that side that round the one i will be joining to my round sleeve must be 20 inches in total i hope you understand that so here i'm marking out the the exact length i want i've already folded it in four as you can see i'm going to be marking the length of the flare which is 5.5 just watch the video and you're going to get it the first one i did because it's not up to it that is why i had to extend my fabric in order for me to get the exact thing i want then i measured that side that side i just measured now it is what i'm going to be joining to my ammo side and i'm satisfied with the wideness which is 5.5 when i open it into four it will give me 22 inches and that is it this is the middle part. I'll have to cut out the down one and the upper one. So let's watch the video and you're going to get it. Just fold your fabric like this into four. 
and then I'm going to be placing the one I cut out first on it just to get the wideness of the round armhole like so then I'm going to be extending my line because the down part is bigger than the middle one is longer than the middle one then I added my uh, extension to it that is three inches then I'm going to be joining the lines together like this for this part is just the same thing because everything is going to be around the round sleeve this is the upper one which is the smallest one I'll the same thing with the wideness of the round sleeve just that the length is shorter Three point five. So I'm going to be doing that. Remember, I'm going to be cutting this in two places, and I just cut out one part. Then I'm going to be cutting the other part, and it will be two, 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 two. That is six for the total flare. And that is it. You can say the length are not equal, but the width are equal. The depth are different. Moving forward, I will cut it on my fabric. The that flare you are going to cut the exact shape on the fabric, which I didn't show in the video, in order to save time. Moving forward, I proceed to cut out my sleeve. I'll be working with. 18 inches from my sleeve and that makes my starting point and I'm going to just shape it like this mark out my round sleeve which is 8.5 then the down part I'll be using 6.5 it's different depend on your size so let's cut that out and that is it for the sleeve because we have two ants, I'm going to be cutting the second one out. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Just press it now, right now, so that you don't forget. Press the subscribe button. If you are new to my channel, press the subscribe button, please. And that is it for the sleeve. This is where we are going to be fixing the old flare on you are not going to be flexing the zip the flare on the sleeve you are going to be fixing it around the armhole side so this is my hero and i'll be using two yards and 15 inches for the hero so this is the hero part it's not so difficult for you to get for someone bigger it is okay for someone who is not big and in size you can use two inches and two yards and twelve so thank you for watching bye